Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey man, it's another episode of uh, Weekend Beat Time, guys, man. So I got some stuff to show you guys. Some stuff on uh, stacking your drums, a little bit of troubleshooting to avoid your beat sounding flat, all that sort of stuff, man. So without further ado, this is Weekend Beat Time. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Weekend Beat Time. Um, just want to say thank you for everybody who's engaging with the channel. Really appreciate it. Um, we're all here to sort of learn and to push each other. I really appreciate everybody engaging. So um, let's uh, let's look at a couple of things of what this video is is going to entail. All right. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the really crappy, flat, bad sequenced drum loop. All right, that's what we're gonna do. And what we're gonna do is go through it and I'm gonna give you guys a really quick diagnosis. All right? We're gonna go through it and we're gonna tick off a couple of things to check why it sounds whack. We're gonna get the sequence sounding good, good rhythm, good sequence, good feel. And then after that, we are going to add some character to that drum loop by stacking our drums. Makes sense. Let's do it in order like that. All right, let's do it. Okay, so here's our drum sequence. Our whack drum sequence. All right, a couple of things. It sounds really flat, it sounds really square, right? So what we want to do is give it some rhythm, give it some expression, all right? When I started off making beats, a lot of my beats sounded like this. All right? So I am trying to pass on something that I wish I would have received. Okay? Let's go through our checklist. Here's our checklist. We're going to troubleshoot. The spelling may be wrong. I apologize for that. Now, first thing we're going to check is our swing. I'm going to quickly describe what some of these things are as we go along. I'm not going to get thoroughly into it. I'll make separate videos in the future for each one, but let's just look at it quickly. First thing, swing. The second is going to be the drum sequence, the pattern all right, of drums that we're doing. Can we fix that? And the last thing is going to be the volume levels. All right? Let's go to swing. Let's do that quickly. For those of you guys who don't know, swing, uh, this is what basically swing is. It goes from being flat to then shifting that second hi-hat, shifting it closer to the third, right? It shifts it closer. So what it does is it goes from gives it more of a swing. Gives a swing, right? Makes it sound more natural. Bum, ba bum, ba bum. The closer you bring it to that second snare, the more swing you add, the tighter it is. But what it does is it gives it a, well, a lot more swing. All right. So let's fix the swing on this sound. Right now, this is how it is. Look how flat it is. We want to give it more swing. More swing. Let's go to the NPC. Regardless of whatever program you're using, guys, or machine, most of them have a swing function, all right, or a time correct function. On the NPC, it's here. It's on one eighth notes. If you don't know what that is, it's basically the hi hat, exactly what the hi hat is playing. This is the timing. So let's go here and see the swing setting that I have here. It's sitting on 50, which is kind of flat. I'm going to pop it up. All right, let's go six. All right. I'm just going to quickly fix it. Just do it to, to that track. All right. Here's the difference. Hear that? Hear that? 
it's not going it's going it now has swing what that does to the whole beat is this see it's now it's got more swing all right all right guys so we have the swing fixed all right you can go through other people's tracks other producers that inspire you have a listen to their swing you could play this their hi-hats their drum sequence just play it against yours and keep adding more and more swing on your machine on, on your computer whatever it is until they match so you kind of get the same natural feeling it's okay it's okay to measure yourself against giants all right don't worry about um being a biter and doing all that the important thing is is that you need to learn you need to get your vocabulary up when it comes to knowing how to actually create drum rhythms and drum loops so don't worry about all that politics and shit just get somebody else's music listen to it and try to understand how to build that sound all right or how to build that feel so that's the swing all right let's move on to the next one drum sequence all right guys very quickly what i don't want is a square kick meaning dun, 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 dun. now i want the kick to communicate with my snare i've showed these in other videos all right how to improve your drum feel go check that video out if you haven't already i'm going to do that with the kick and the other thing is is that with my hi-hat I do not want my hi-hat to play over my snare. My snare should have its own time in the loop. Because it's my snare is jamming with my hi-hat, which is jamming with my kick. What I mean by jamming is each person needs to have a voice. Each person in my loop needs to have space. Time to speak. Not everybody talking over each other, all right? That way the rhythm can carry on from each bit. That's what I'm gonna do. So let's just have a look at the kick. This is what it's doing right now. Boom, 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 boom. Boring. What I wanted to do is, so I'm taking it off, I wanna get boom, boom, boom. Kick fixed. The drum sequence. That's what I'm fixing. See, they're allowing each other to breathe, to jam with each other. reason guys is your volume really quickly let's have a look at the volume what's happening is the hi-hat is hitting flat we don't want that to happen the volume carries rhythm all right the volume carries rhythm so when you're playing it Put it on your 16 levels. Oh, come to the NPC. Put the hi hat on your 16 levels. If you haven't got an NPC, you got a trigger up, whatever it is on um on a keyboard. Make sure it just goes from really loud to then goes softer. All right. And what you want to do is is that's what you're doing. You're expressing loudest first. And then you're playing it off. That's what you do. Alright, so I'm going to play the sequence, but I'm going to play the sequence using my hi-hat. Let's just do it. The 
volume is carrying rhythm. Okay. Fix the swing, fix the, the drum sequence, and we fixed all the levels, the volume. Diagnose your drums, your drum sequences for this, all right? Swing, drum sequence, volume. Go through it and fix your drums, all right? This isn't finished yet. Let's stack. Let's stack some drums. Guys, so stacking drums is like shaping your snares, shaping your drum kit so you could have it more, uh, have more burst, make it um, bigger, be sharper, harder on the ear, softer on the ear, all that sort of stuff. So you get different snares and you stack one on top of the other. You play them at the same time, sometimes a little bit delayed, depending on the sound that you want to achieve. All right. I got a little diagram here. I'm going to show you how I'm sort of imagining my um, my snare. So at the moment, guys, this is what it sounds like. It's really bursty at the front. It's got like a real sharp edge, but then it it kind of it's still flat. It, for me, it doesn't it hasn't got a lot of bass in it, and it kind of just comes off the end. Down. So what I want to do is, I want to add a little bit extra here. Something that's going to fill that up with a little bit more bass, you know what I mean? A little bit more bass, a little bit more space inside it, man. So this is the one that I found. Hear that sound? It's got a lot of like bass, it's really heavy, and it's got a little bit at the top here. These are the frequencies, right? Like I always have them. High medium and your low all right see it starts off really sharp but it's got it's really heavy okay and the last step is for me to put reverb on it now i mentioned this in another video guys that it's called um reverb to compression trick all right so check that video out now, I'll show you the end result. Let me just go through and uh, put the reverb on it and then the compression. Guys, this is what it sounds like now. See how big it is? Big! So I want it to go boom, 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 Right? Hear that? So think of it this way, if you have your snare like that, right, your snare just looks like this, if you add a rim shot to it, <clears throat> that's going to give it a sharp start, you know what I mean? And it's going to sort of give it this shape here. Now if you have a kick and you add to it, it's going to give it like a real massive start, like a big heavy bass, and then your snare is going to come out. So just think of it in shapes, all right? This is the one that I'm going to be using. I'm going to create a big sound, a, a nice wide open sound around it. And then I'm going to put my snare inside it. And I'm going to use that every, like once or twice throughout the sequence, throughout the loop, just to give us some more uh, rhythm, a little bit more uh, change ups, all right? So what I did guys is take this, which is a snare. It's got a little bit of hi-hat in it, a little bit of open hi-hat at the end. And what I've done is I stretched it out. The MPC has a function inside it that's called time stretch. So I stretched it out as much as I could. Hear that? So from this to this. It's got a lot of uh, like a metallic sound that runs through it. It just it just it just happens when you stretch it. See if um some of your computers can do that as well. I'm sure there's a function in there to uh, stretch it out. All right. So, and what I did was I added it to my drums. Right there. You heard it? Here it comes. It kind of stretches it out. Do you know what I mean? See? 
See? Reverb, compression, we shape the snare. The hi-hats have volume. Comes in and out, it's got good swing. There's a simple drum pattern, but the drum pattern communicates. Everyone jams. Everything sounds good. See what I mean? Doesn't matter what you put on it. It's gonna sound good. The chorus. Thank you so much for tuning in again. I hope this really helped people out, man. Um, if you guys have a request, you got some ideas, man, pass them through. I'm, I haven't forgotten about that giveaway. I'm actually, I got a day off work today, man. So I'm going to go to my garage. I'm going to paint it a little bit. And uh, I'm going to do a giveaway, man. I'll do some uh, galactic uh, music portraits and all this sort of stuff, man. So I'll do a giveaway. I'll go, I'll go to my garage and work on that, man. So until next time, people, my name's Alonso Magical. Thank you so much, guys. You have a beautiful uh, weekend. You take care of yourselves. You know what I mean? Don't hit your loved ones. Domestic violence, man. Keep it down, all right, guys? Peace.